Hello and welcome to WePC Benchmarks. My name is Seb and today I'll be taking you through the best settings for the new Aliens Fireteam Elite. The game has just come out and is an interesting game of a mix of Left 4 Dead and Gears of War. It's less of a horror like Isolation was, but more run and gun, with all the swarms of xenomorphs coming at you, with some specials as well that have different abilities and looks. We're going to be testing the game with a baseline of high settings, we will get an average of 18 FPS. With the custom settings however, we can increase our FPS by 28%, up to 23 FPS. So, how do we achieve this? Well, we balance the settings between quality and performance. I tested all the settings independently to find the best balance between them all. So, what I've gone for is motion blur off, as usual, frame rate unlocked, image sharpening off, shadow quality of medium, resolution scale 100, this is to keep it at 1080p, but if you do need more performance over quality, then you can turn this down. Texture quality down to medium, chromatic aberration left on, anti-aliasing down to two, ambient occlusion off, screen space reflections off, and V-Sync off. Those are all the settings, and now we can see how that affects the game overall. As you can see here, we are now averaging 25 FPS in the game, so it is a good increase in performance while still having the game look pretty decent for what it's running on. The game still has the good looks, and you'll still see the horrifying detail of the aliens all pelting at you to try and tear you apart. The only real difference you may notice are in the edges of objects like the boxes, there may be a bit of worsening in textures and models, but it's nothing awful. It's not a big compromise, so well worth, especially when you're gaming on low end. It's still good to see new games still being easy to run on less powerful hardware. As this game isn't the hardest to run, and in our benchmarks it did max out on our top end hardware. But hopefully this still has been helpful to some of you. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.